Good afternoon, you guys. We are currently on a little mini road trip. Here's the view from the back seat. We have the little baby Bean back here with me. He's doing pretty good. He's not like being super loud, which he normally is. And Tim's driving. We are on our way to the Westgate River Ranch, which is exciting because we're gonna go kind of like camping. They have log cabins, so that's what we're gonna stay in. And we get to bring Bandit. Here he is. <laughs> He's very excited to be in the car and be coming with us. But here's the baby Bean looking out the window. He really, really wants to get there. Me too, we're about 20 minutes away, so we'll be there soon. Right now we're just driving down a uh, typical Florida road with some empty fields, some big empty wide open fields. Super fun and exciting. And then there's some water on this side. I don't really know what that is though. Like where are we? We are almost there. <laughs> okay. We are literally in the middle of nowhere, but we're here. Here it is. I like their horse statue. Oh yeah, look at that. The adventure is about to begin. Here we are, we parked right outside of cabin number nine. So this is actually like our back door. Yeah. We cut around here to the front door where you'll see some bison. Are they bison or buffalo? I don't know, they're big huge things. Yeah. And they're right there. They are right there. <laughs> There's a bunch more like right over here too. This is the only one that's kind of like hanging out off away from the rest of the crowd. Bandit, what do you think? You want to go meet the big dogs? Whoa. Holy cow. He sounds kind of frightening, doesn't he? Yeah, a little bit. I've never been this close to a buffalo or a bison, whatever one this one is. It's so crazy. They're so close. They are. And so you can see here, there's cabin 9A and 9B, and we're going into 9A. So you go into this little vestibule area where if you were in 9B, you'd go over there, but we're in 9A. Here it is. It came with a dog. A free bandit with every room. No. <laughs> there he is. We're back. We were just right outside, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, there's a full, like, dining area. They call this a kitchenette, but I feel like this is, this is a kitchen, right? Yeah, I think it's a full kitchen. And you even have a washer and dryer. Oh, and yeah. an iron. And an ironing board. Yeah. Full-size refrigerator, full-size oven, stove or like a cooktop, microwave. There's a dishwasher. Coffee maker. Oh, the dishwasher is underneath the sink. That's very strange. Is this a full-size dishwasher? It is. It's like a built-in dishwasher sink combo. Before we go through the rest of the tour, because I'm sure some of you guys have some questions about pricing, I wanted to give you guys some of the prices from the website really quick. So we are currently in a one-bedroom cottage. This one is $3.99 a night for the nights that we're here. But we'll leave a link to the website in case you want to check it out for like a different night if you wanted to stay. And then they do allow pets. There is a $170 pet cleaning fee and there is also a $100 pet deposit which is refundable at the end of your trip. But there are some limitations as far as like weight and breed and there can only be one cat or dog per cottage. But you can bring your cat. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Here is the bedroom. King size bed. Jacuzzi. Right in the room. Right in the room. Right next with a, like a little mirror wall. Oh yeah, look at that. I thought that was kind of funny. And then this is a this is a wardrobe. Some extra storage in there. Extra like a closet. And a, a safe as well. Another TV in here. And both TVs have a DVD player. And then we head into the bathroom. Two sinks. Makes it a lot easier to get ready in the morning. There's the toilet in there. And then this is oh, the, oh sorry, no. My, my swim shirt. This is the shower that Bandit wants to go into. He constantly wants go to, in there? yeah, I don't know why he's so fascinated with the shower. There it is. And there's a rainfall shower head. Which looks very nice. Yeah, pretty cool. I don't know where the light is for in here. Uh, maybe it's this one? Oh yeah, look at that. It's all lit up. So there it is, that was the, that was the whole room. I mean, for us, I think this is the perfect amount of space. And because there's a sleeper sofa, I, I feel like it would probably fit like four people yeah. pretty comfortably. So, I don't know. I like it so far. It's pretty nice. Yeah. There's also a lot of stuff 
around the property and we're gonna do some exploring tonight hopefully it doesn't rain they also gave us a golf cart to use during our stay which yeah. is very exciting and when we'll figure out the prices on that too so we can give you guys some more information but I really like golf carts I'm gonna link a video where we went to Fort Wilderness and we did like a golf cart tour and it was really fun because golf carts are really fun so now it's time for lunch and there is a restaurant on property mm -hmm. so we're gonna go up there we're gonna take the car because it looks like it's gonna rain rather than the golf cart but we will go on a fun golf cart ride soon when we picked it up they said a lot of people like to take it out around sunset because that's when all the critters come out oh like what a bison apparently oh but yeah let's, let's go. go get some food kind of excited what do you think is going to be here Barbecue. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then after dinner we have to go by the general store so we can get like bacon and eggs for the morning. Breakfast. Yeah. yeah. This ought to be good. We went inside and we couldn't figure out why nobody was in there. They don't open until four. So we're gonna go to the general store and they have some grab and go stuff. Yeah. And we're gonna grab some stuff and go. So we're back in the area that has a post office, a kids corral, a village laundry, the fitness center, a Western store so we can get all equipped for the rodeo. We're going to a rodeo tomorrow night. And then the general store, which serves Starbucks. All right, here's what we got for lunch. I got chicken fingers and some French fries. And Jen got an Italian sandwich. But I got it toasted to make sure that the lunch meat was uh, brought to temperature. Yeah. I would say if you come here though, it might be a good idea to stop at a grocery store on your way in. We spent almost $60 on the sandwich, the chicken tenders, some chips, and like a, a drink. And like eggs and bacon. Yeah. For so, tomorrow morning. And that's sort of the way that it is with camping anywhere too. Right, yeah, the general store is always gonna be more expensive. So if you wanna save a few bucks, go to the grocery store before you get here. All right, it's golf cart time. We're gonna go have a look at a couple of tents. Mm -hmm. And Jen's gonna drive the golf cart. Yeah, we're golf carting it up. This one's kinda fast. Yeah, it's also not electric. It's oh, loud. I think it's propane or gas. It says fuel. I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, look, there's a little playground right there. Horse fields. You can do some uh, like RV camping over there. It's very nice out here. It does look like it might rain a little bit later though. These are some of the tents we're gonna go check out. These are the luxury ones. Oh no, the goats are on the loose. <laughs> Run free goats. Run free country roads. Take me home. We're gonna go look at some glamping tents. So they've got this adventure park over here. There's a saloon, which is like a bar. They told us that they have line dancing classes tonight. So we can learn how to do some line dancing. Uh -huh. Whoa. <laughs> and this is the adventure park. You can go zip lining. They have a mechanical bull, some rock climbing, mini golf. And there's the rodeo. We're gonna go see a rodeo tomorrow night. Here's the chapel. I think you can get married here. They also have Sunday service. And then down in this direction, they have a archery range and you can also shoot trap and skeet down here. There's some regular tent camping going on over there. This feels like Florida. Like this is what it's like for us growing up. Glamping, glamorous camping, fully furnished glamping tents. Oh, and there's an airfield out here too with some planes. Wow, this is interesting. It's a very interesting property. So originally we were gonna go glamping out here then we found out that Jen was pregnant and there are no bathrooms in the tents. So the camping comes with two hours of the campfire. It comes with a concierge, breakfast in the morning, a thermos, coffee, and fruit. You get your own personal bathroom. It's just not in the tent. It's right over there on the brown buildings. Oh, but it's not a shared bathroom? No, ma'am. Oh, okay. So you get your own key and everything for it. Okay. So um, there's a mini fridge, a microwave, and a safe all in here. Hmm. There's two towels in the rooms, two towels in the bathroom, two sets. This is nice. So each tent also has its own little picnic table and its own grill and propane is provided. Here in the center of this group of glamping tents is a fire pit and the resort lights the fire. So it's like a community fire pit for everybody that's in this clamping area. We're gonna see the bathrooms. Oh yeah, gotcha, it's like a... Yeah, it's like a little private bathroom here. Pretty good sized shower. Nice to check with the like toiletry stuff you need. Mm. Oh, and you get a hairdryer. I was kind of wondering if there would be a hairdryer. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, they have little hammocks. Oh yeah, nice. These are the luxury tents. 
like more luxurious than the glamping. Yeah. Oh, it's very cool in here. Yeah. This is awesome. Wow. This is really cool. This is super fancy. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, the really big. Oh, yeah. It's got a bidet. Oh, wow. I love bidets. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, and it's like a fun like, chandelier. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so nice. This is cool. These look up pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and it's got the same little space heater in it, too. Yeah. And then it's a double sided fireplace. Mini split up there. Do double sided it has fireplace. Coffee maker and everything, too. Oh, coffee maker? Yeah. Microwave, safe, and a refrigerator. Games. What is this? This is like a projector for the ceiling? Whoa. Oh, That's pretty neat. <laughs> this is nice. I would stay in here. Yeah, definitely. There's also this Chicky Hut, which was built by the Seminole Indians. I don't know if they put the Wi-Fi in it, but <laughs> they did build the structure. But the Wi-Fi does reach out here, which I was kind of curious if you would get Wi-Fi, and you do. And they also told us that these are all-inclusive, so you get all of the activities around the uh, area, which is, we're gonna show you guys some of that stuff tomorrow and later on. It includes everything but the pontoon rental and the hayride dinner. But you do get breakfast brought to your tent, and you get an afternoon snack, they bring you ice, and you get the golf cart rental. So this seems like, I don't know, really cool. I wanna do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they also have a fire pit for the center of all of these tents. This area also has these different hammocks all around and they have these hammock pods too. This looks really cool. Yeah. I think this would be like a, even like a girls weekend. I think this would be really neat. So did you notice that there's no TVs? I did. Well, but that's why I asked about the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't think you come here to watch TV. Right, no, you come here to be one with nature. Yeah, I don't know, I think it's really cool. They have these other cabins here that are called rail car cabins. You can see they're kind of like in a straight line, like a shotgun style house. Those are some weird looking dogs. <laughs> Ooh, should we go pet some goats? Yeah, let's go pet some goats. Yeah. And if, I've, if I've ever learned or known one thing, it's well, you don't try to pet a buffalo. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. But I also, I want to pet some goats, and I also want to go to the Western store and see what they have. I kind of want to get a cowboy hat. I do too. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's see if they're not too expensive, we'll get some. Well, ding dang it, uh, it's closed. We waited too long. Shoot, what time is it now? I don't know, 6? Uh, like 6.30. So we'll have to check and see when the petting farm is open again tomorrow and go see the goats and the horses, which by the way, there's a baby horse over here, look. It's called a foal. Oh, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> it's nursing right now. I wonder how old it is. It looks so little. I'm gonna say 15. 15 what? In moments in time. <laughs> no, I love them. You think they'll come over here? I don't think so, because they're busy. This is the kid corral. It looks like they can do all kinds of arts and crafts in there. Oh, you know, they can make visors. Pretty neat. Oh, ceramic art. You can make Things. a picture frame with Cindy Crawford in it. Is that Cindy Crawford? Yeah, and wow. a turkey. Is it just an empty room? That's where they keep the bench. No, oh, it's a it's laundry. A laundry laundry mat. It's the fitness center. Got a couple of treadmills in there, a couple of ellipticals, some free weights. Oh, and then all kinds of machines over here. All right, let's get us a Stetson. <laughs> Whoa, it's too big for you, but you look like a cowboy. How do you know what size you need? You try them on. Oh. Or maybe they can help us. How do we look? Do we look like cow people? We have like full out cowboy outfits that we're gonna yeah. wear tomorrow, but like we need the hat. I don't have like boots or anything. I think that might be an expensive undertaking, but I can do a hat. Yeah. This hat's $50 though. This hat's $300. Whoa. No, it's $25. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're deciding between two hats. This one's more of a traditional cowboy hat. It's like the hard, like a cowboy hat. Mm -hmm. and this one's a crushable hat. That's. This one's obviously like more comfortable. This one reminds me of like Crocodile Dundee. Right? I might do this one just because it's just more comfortable. Like it mm. feels better on my head. Let me see the other one. Because this one's like hard. Like yeah, cowboy. you look like a real cowboy in that one. Do I? But, but if that one's more comfortable, they both look good. All right, and then is this one's literally called Comfort Felt. 
Yeah, this yeah. is like way more comfortable. I always wanted cowboy boots, These but cool. I feel like they wouldn't fit me correctly. Like I always felt like my heels were slipping out of them. They're supposed to like form to your foot. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Plus I don't have the right jeans with me today. Oh, yeah. oh no. It's a haunted doll. Were we supposed to bring knives too? <laughs> oh man. Ooh, okay, where's the T? I need a nice T belt buckle. T. Ooh. How much is it? 20 bucks. Ooh, yeah. I got my hat? Me too. And this matches what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. It doesn't really match what I'm wearing today. Oh, mine too, yeah. But, it's fun. We got cool shirts for tomorrow. Oh yeah. Both of them are my shirts. But they're like old retro like cowboy shirts. Yeah. Yeah, they're cool. You used to dress like a cowboy. You did. <laughs> Whoa. This dock rules. <laughs> this is the Kissimmee River. Oh, they do airboat rides. Yeah, they do. We did an airboat ride one time at Wild Florida. And it was really fun. I'm gonna link that video down below. Yeah, and you can rent these pontoon boats too. Oh, it's very nice out here. Oh, you look like an Instagram. Thanks. You know what's <laughs> funny? I feel like when you're here, you want to be like in character almost. Yeah, like, you want to be country. Yeah, it really feels like I gotta get a cowboy hat and I really want to buy some boots and a belt buckle. And I don't know, it's weird. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're gonna be like 99% cowboy Minus our shoes, because we didn't get any boots. Yeah. I'm, gonna I'm just going to be wearing these tops. And I'm going to wear these. So don't don't look at the bottom half. The top yeah. half will look pretty rodeo-like. That's you when you're at the rodeo. Turns it into a pretty rodeo. Oh. <laughs> get a video of me with my cowboy hat with these cows in the background. Oh, yeah. This will be good. I need like a like a thing too, right? What thing? Like, a... <laughs> like grass in your teeth? Oh, no. I don't think they put grass in their teeth. <laughs> That was pretty gross tasting. <laughs> See the little babies over here though? There's a little baby guy. And there's another little baby guy over there. And these are the big boys. Let's go check out the fishing dock. Oh yeah. This is something that's like complimentary to everybody that's staying here. You can just go fishing? You can just go fishing. I wonder if you could eat what you caught in here. It says catch and release. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You can't eat it. Okay. Florida is a natural wildlife habitat. No truer words have been spoken. I love this. There's an alligator right there. Huh. Do you see him? He's just a little guy. Yeah, but wait, there's a little guy. There's a big guy somewhere. Not necessarily. That one's like a teenager. You think? Yeah. I wonder if there's others. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Up there on the shore. They're just little ones though. And then just past him, you can kind of just barely see its tail sticking up and its eyeballs sticking up. We park next to this golf cart and they have a spot for their dog to hang out in the back of it. We should get a golf cart for Bandit. Just for him, not for us. <laughs> Could you imagine him driving a golf cart? Yes. I wish I was good at animation because I would put that in. All right. All right, Bandit, you're out in the country. Do you love it? He's like, uh... What's that noise? <laughs> What are they? Those are sandhill cranes. Oh, gotcha. Who has the big hat now? I mean, it's my hat. <laughs> so we're taking Bandit on a walk before we go have dinner at the restaurant, because now the restaurant's open. Right. They close at nine, so we have like a little over an hour to eat dinner. We can do it. Yeah, but it smelled really good when we went by there earlier, so I'm excited to try it. Yeah. Are you done, Bandit? No, you have to poop, Bandit. Come Please on. Please poop. For real this time. We're gonna eat at the Smokehouse Grill. Yeah, dinner. So we're starting out kind of ridiculous. We're getting the family trio. And then I think I'm gonna go a little bit lighter after that. I'm gonna get this Trap and Skeet Club Sandwich. Jen says she's gonna get the pulled pork sandwich. I think we'll have leftovers, but that'll be okay. Yeah, this steak, steak burger though. Mmm, maybe I'll get that tomorrow. And then they have these like big ones here, like ribs and chicken or like a T-bone. I think that would be too much food. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and they got all these different, ooh, kettle baked beans. Mm. Yeah, you can get that for your side. That sounds really good. Kind of looking at this ranch brownie. Do you think that's just a brownie with ranch dressing on it? I hope so. I really hope that's what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Kind of excited for the broccoli. Which one's the broccoli? This one. What else did we get? I forget. We got mozzarella sticks, broccoli, and something else. And corn nuggets. Let's see how cheesy it is. Whoa. That was like a Totino's commercial. <laughs> oh yeah, this looks pretty good. We got sweet potato fries. And Jen got that pulled pork. Mm -hmm. Came over here by the River Ranch Saloon. They've got this whole inflatable experience over here. Some like bounce houses and stuff. But the thing that really drew our attention, they're totally showing Wally -E out here and nobody's watching it. Not a single person. Right? Now one person's watching it. Me. There's a fire over here and this bar here. 
I think this is I don't her. even know her name. <laughs> this is like oh. where all the, all the crowd is. Here he goes. He oh. looks like he knows what he's doing. I feel like he's ridden a real bull before. It looks like oh. it. Oh, oh, does a cow actually do this? I'm a kangaroo. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> well, you made yourself at home now, didn't you? Yeah, he's being so good. He's just chilling. He's fine. Yeah. He had just... a long day of riding in the car, so he's exhausted. <laughs> Just hanging out. So I think that we are going to call it in the evening. Yeah, it's like 9 30. So oh, yeah. it's our it's our bedtime. Past our bedtime. <laughs> uh fantastic first day. It's just been really nice. It's been really relaxing. Oh yeah. And Bandit likes it too. Yeah, he's been having a good time. So what did you think of dinner? I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, it was just like a like a barbecue place. Yeah. And it was I liked my pulled pork. I thought it was you could tell that they made it there. And the barbecue sauce was kind of sweet, so I added a little bit of mustard to it, and I thought it was really good. And then we got leftovers of the sweet potato fries, so we can have those for breakfast in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sweet potato fry eggs? Yeah, why not? Who knows? <laughs> it might be delicious. You never know. So I had the club sandwich, and it was, it was good. Yeah. Can't really go wrong with a club sandwich, though. Yeah, it was kind of like, um, almost like a diner. So it was nice, I don't know, it was cool. And you yeah. were right on the water. It was cool. I liked it. Me too. But... Thus draws to an end our very first night. Mm -hmm. And we'll let you guys know tomorrow how the bed is. Right now, I feel like it's pretty comfortable. So It's a little bit like firm, but not too firm. Yeah, I brought my own pillow this time, just in case. Yeah, so thank you to Westgate for providing us with this weekend getaway. Yeah, it's been really nice so far. Yeah, then tomorrow we will continue our cowboy weekend. Yeah, it's going to be like Tim Tracker Gone Country. Yeah. <laughs> so with that being said, we are off. We will see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.